morning, this is Tim from Boneshed Brighton, working with Nicky's Canvas Works. Just for a quick look at a, uh, an inflated life raft for you, which many people don't actually see. Lots of people have something that looks like this, the life raft, so this is the outer valise. It may also look something like this when it's all packed away. And when you pull the painter, and you pull it all the way out, and it may be very, very long, keep pulling and keep pulling and keep pulling until it inflates, it should look something like this and it will blow up very quickly and in we get. I just wanted to show you a few bits and pieces inside to give you an idea of what might be in there. So I'll hop in. So we have the throwing coit to rescue people with. You throw that to them and off they hopefully I'll grab hold of that and come back to you. We've got a knife which is shaped to prevent puncturing for general use. We've got two paddles here for paddling around with. You notice they're both attached to the life raft with string. And here we've got a sea anchor to steady the to steady the life raft in any high seas. Down here there's a topping up and a, and a deflation valve to allow you to use the pump that's in the grab bag to reinflate the tubes if they go. And there's another one here to top up this tube here, which keeps the roof from above you. Behind me. On the outside, there's a flap which catches rainwater, and we can drain this into this bag to use as drinking water. Very handy, hey? Insulated bottom to try and keep us away from the cold sea. And lastly, grab bag. No in here. Baler, for bailing out with. Pen and pencil, general come in handy. And this, this paper is more often than not waterproof. Packet of flares for signalling for assistance. A pump for reinflating, as I mentioned before. Lots of plastic bags for various uses. A sponge, very important. We can use a sponge to wipe down the inside of the tent when we've got condensation, and then we can use that as drinking water. Some standard signals so you know how to attract attention and you know what to tell people. And what else have we got in here? Some bungs for if you've got a leak, some very different sizes to, to plug into holes. A torch, waterproof electric torch, and also for the bigger holes in the in the tubes, method of stopping the air from leaking. One half pokes in, pulls it up, put the other half in tightly down and you've got a nice air proof leak, uh, leak stopper there. And that's it, so an instruction manual as well. Oh, there's some sea sickness tablets, tablets in here for you. And that's basically the interior contents of a good standard life raft. Any problems or if you have any questions, just get in touch with Bowshed Brighton or Nicky's Canvas Works who will supply you with one and talk about them for you. Thank you very much.